What's up guys, it's Parker. Today's gonna be a fun day, taking the GT350 to the track uh, and doing some, I guess, parade laps, but maybe we can go a little bit faster. Who knows, gonna meet some rally people, been doing some rally prep, watching some tutorial videos on how to stay on time, and it pretty much looks impossible. So, <laughs> I don't have the highest hopes of winning, but I guess I should be a little bit more confident. Uh, I'm at my dad's house, which I've never uh, showed before. Guess we can do a quick little tour. It's a nice three bedroom place, uh, but the location is amazing. Northern California is so beautiful. Oh, nice backyard, unfortunately my dad never heats the pool, so don't really get to go in that, because uh, it's freezing. But today we're going to debunk the myth that my dad is not, in fact, a Russian billionaire. Привет, <laughs> What the fuck? Just grabbed some water and a snack at the uh, little food area at the racetrack. Now we're gonna take the uh, Shelby out around on some parade laps and then take it through tech inspection and register. Well, it appears we're lost because that Ferrari 430 Spider is definitely not pre-1972, but that car over there is. And then we got Team Toyota. Wow, that's an old Corolla. That is so cool. Why don't they make it look like that now? Look at the uh, tow truck. Oh my god, a tow truck's competing? <laughs> this is actually a really sweet Corolla. And they've got one hell of a GoPro set up in the inside. That is awesome. Heading out on the track for the first time in this car. I've been around the track just once, I think, actually. But here we go. This is actually one of the more technical tracks in the country. There's a lot of elevation change, especially coming up around this hill and over the other side, there's a really intense downhill slower than you think you need to. I only know this because I've driven it in Forza a lot. Why are we waving? Just lost a GoPro on the roof. Oh no! They did? Oh, that sucks. Well, this guy lost a GoPro off his roof. That happens if you either don't clean off the surface or if you try to put the GoPro on a curved surface, it doesn't like that, which is uh, what happened when I did the front wheel drive drift thing. I listened to uh, somebody's suggestion of where to mount the GoPro, which I never do, and uh, it fell off, but it actually lived. The cases are pretty sturdy. At 
at the hotel gonna go through registration to get a livery kit for the car because obviously it's not going to look bare like that. Check this car. Got a 1970 Mach 1 with a 428 in it. That'll be some fun competition. And we got our rally caps. So put that on, then we're gonna go through a tech inspection. Hopefully the car passes, but it's 100% stock, so it will. Got everything going on this, even a fire truck. Getting the uh, livery kit put on. I know where she's. We're number 88. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Going through tech inspection. Number 88. San Rafael to Moline, Illinois. So we're at tech inspection and uh, they're installing the livery kits on the car. It's a beautiful day and then we're gonna do the uh, uh, timed mile. So we're gonna calibrate the speedo uh, to figure out exactly, just because the car speedo says you're going 60 doesn't mean you're actually going 60. And you can't use uh, real, real time GPS on your phone or something like that or on a radar detector. You have to actually use um, a speedo provided by the rally as well as uh, a stopwatch. Well, we're done with the events for the day. The car is all stickered up. Uh, we've got a trophy run tomorrow, which should be really, really good practice to see uh, pretty much how bad we are at this. But a lot of really, really friendly people. This is a, a true family uh, of people who have done this rally for many years and do it with their kids and fathers and uncles and Mariska Hargitay. We've got the uh, slow speed sticker because we have to stop at stop signs for more than uh, the appropriate amount of time. Welcome to Marin where there's a Model S followed by another Model S. And then the opposite of a Model S. So Father's Day is coming up and what did you just find, Dad? This certificate good for one breakfast in bed on the day of your choosing. Yeah, and when is happy, that from? <laughs> happy Father's Day, Love Madison, 2009. So this is, so, this is seven years old. I'm collecting tomorrow morning before we Maddie, This is, what have you done? So apparently before we do uh, day two of rally prep, we're making breakfast in bed. That's good. You're not speaking Russian anymore. What's that about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. My dad's not actually Russian. I don't know why we'd... I, you know what? Whatever. We just made some shit up. Now we, uh, we got some soul food, which is one of the best freaking... I don't know what to call it. A step above fast food places, Cuban cuisine in Marin County. Every time I come back from uh, Michigan, I have to get it. So... Typically, people get like a Biztec sandwich, which is a Cuban sandwich with steak. What is this called? A poncho? Ponche. Ponche. What's in it? Poncho. I don't know. Poncho. Whatever. <laughs> What's in the poncho? Uh, limeade and guava and mango. Yeah. And then you can get a one-piece chicken and rice with some sweet plantains. Got a limeade, right? I got a water. I'm getting healthy, baby. I'm getting healthy. Apparently I'm fat, so I'm gonna lose some weight. Did you see the comment on what? Oh yeah, about, yeah. So the reason that Maddie lost the race is because I was in the car and I weigh like one, seven, five, four, three, seven, eight, nine pounds. So thank you for that. Shout out to the haters. Well, there's 3.9 seconds left in the Warriors game. And unfortunately, they lost. So that concludes today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. Look forward to seeing you next video.